What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use Excel formulas to make something more useful out of your JSON objects. If you have a file with JSON objects that's just not importing right into your Excel sheet or if you might not be using the newest version of Excel. So here we have an example of JSON objects and example of JSON objects. And one thing to note is that they're fairly simple in nature in this example. Um, is in the sense that we we they always Objects has have similar in a similar sense that they both have a key, similar keys, and similar va and values for each key. Um, also, they're not super nested, so this might not be perfect for your case, but it should hopefully at least get you part of the way there. So first, um, we, this is basically just copy and paste from a text file, and do, in doing this, we have a new row for each line of the JSON object. So what we're going to do is we're going to first um, re guess, make, make all of the row, rows that have these little bracket thingies blank. So to do this, we're going to highlight the objects, control F to get to find, we're going to go into replace. Now we're going to want to find what? What we're going to want to find is little bracket thingies, we're going to replace with something that's blank. I like to click find all first, just to make sure I did it right. Looks like it's okay to replace all. And then done, 13 replacements. Similar thing for the um, other end of the thing of the brackets, and then we're going to do find all, and then replace all, and then now we also have some columns left over, um, so we're going to remove these as well. So column find find all, and then replace all, and then doing that now we just have the key value pairs. So you can leave it formatted like this, or you can remove the spaces in between. Um, we also have these have these two brackets right here. We can just manually remove those. Um, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, to remove these anything that's just not these key value pairs. So the colors right there. Scrolling down to make sure we got everything. Okay. So now we just have our our keys for each object and then the associated value. Um, now we're going to do is we're going to want to split these columns. So to do this, we're going to do again highlight the values, and then do Alt A E to split the columns. We'll we split the column not based on the fixed width, but on a delimited, so just based on a specific item. Next, so what do we want to split it on? Well, we want to split it on the thing that's separating the keys and the values for the JSON objects. So here we can see in this case this is a semicolon. Um, so we're going to do that, and as you can see, here's a preview. Scroll down a bit just to make sure it looks okay. Once you have the keys in one column, the values in another. Okay, that well, looks like it did it right. Um, we're going to do click, and they're not. We're just going to click finish, and then as you can see, we have keys here, and then values right here. Now we're going to format it right here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a row with the keys up top and we're going to have um, values for each row going going down so to do this we are going to use the transpose function so transpose on parentheses um you're going, going to want to have the transpose function for the uh keys we're going to want to, want to do this for an object that has the most keys if i not possible um so just for one object right here and then close and then we're going to control C, Alt E S V, just so it doesn't spill, it's not funky. Alt H O I to format it a bit. And then now we're going to use the filter function to be to get the values for each um, key. So the equals filter. Open parentheses. Well, what do what do we want to filter? Well, we want to filter the values, right? Now, what do we want to include? Well, we want to include the values where it is it is um, equal, where we want to include, we want to filter these values if the key is equal to the key above. And then we're not going to have anything if empty, so we're going to close. As you can see, um, there are the values for the color. Now we're going to lock these down. So if I'm on a laptop, so function F4, or you just F4 if you're on a um, PC. So 
Now that's locked down, we're going to copy, control, right? And as you can see, now we have have our, our, our keys at the top and their values here. Um, but as, like I said, it's not necessarily perfect. So as you can see, one of one of them just didn't have a value for type. So you might have to you have to manually go through and see oh which one didn't have a value for type, um, which obviously can get um, so you see is this object right here that didn't have that didn't have anything for type. Um, but that said, if nothing else, I hope that this will at least get you part of the way towards getting some JSON objects into a table format that should hopefully make the data a little bit easier to use. Um, and that said, if you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.